Hi everyone, let us discuss uh, some topics about security, network security or cyber security. So today we are going to discuss about IP spoofing attacks. So as per definition, IP spoofing attacks are the attacks where fake address is substituted instead of the genuine one. So it's a fake address will be used. Now for understanding, let's suppose that we have these users. So you can see these B, we have user A, user B and user C. We have three users. And now, for example, if we take a simple example, let's suppose that this user A, who has got IP address of 192.168.10.1, this user wants to request or this user is sending a request for some information information from a computer and that computer at that machine can be any machine maybe this machine offers us maybe web services or any services but uh, the message is that that this user is going to send a request and for that request it will send a packet and in that packet it has to mention the destination ip address as we all know that this is the destination ip address which is needed so that the packet can be forwarded to this destination and in the source IP address actually this user instead of using its own IP address this machine is going to use the source IP address of this machine so this is uh, spoofing they are using the fake address so as a result what will happen this message will be sent for uh, receiving any information to the destination and at the destination you see let me clear it at the destination this machine sees that this information has been requested by a host having this IP address so the host will believe that this will this is the source which is requesting for that information so this destination in response to that request will generate a packet along with the information so let's say this is the information which is needed and in the destination IP address this machine will use the IP address of this one of this destination so now the packet will be sent to this destination instead of the actual sender so you can see here the sender has actually spoofed the IP address and the purpose of this can be anything. For example, this user wants to make this machine busy by using maybe different um, source IP address. So maybe at one time it can use the source IP address of this machine and then maybe this machine in this way it can make this server busy or maybe there uh, that uh, uh, that user can use any IP address maybe there and even if the, in some of the cases there is no node on the network having that particular IP address so in this way there can be any purpose of this user so that can be like uh, some bad guy in the network so this is spoofy now this user for example this user can be anyone not only on the same network so this user actually can send in the source ip address can send the ip address of this user this user is somewhere else so the request will be sent from this user to this server or this computer and in response this server will respond back to this user having different ip address so you can see this is uh, how this spoofing ip spoofing attack can work and this way Actually, there may be a state will come when this this server will be busy and this will not have any time to uh, entertain the legitimate users. It means it will not be able to send a response to the legitimate users who are really needing the service. So this kind of attack is also known as a denial of service attack because now this machine is in a state where it is uh, is denying the services to the legitimate users as well and we can take one more example to understand it better so let's suppose that user a in this case this user a wants to is sending a ping request to some machine that is this machine 
So if you know that the ping request is sent to check the connectivity and the machine which is which seeing the ping request, that machine has to send a reply um, that is known as a ping reply. So that has to send a reply. So it means this user is sending the ping request to this one. And the same user is going to send the ping request to the second machine that's B, this address. And the same user A is going to send the ping request to user C as well. So it means the user A is sending ping request to this one, to this one, and to this one as well. But what happens in the source IP address, so for ping request, it has to generate a packet. In that packet, it will have a destination IP address and the source IP address. So in the destination IP address, it is using the IP address of this machine, of this machine, of this machine, and this machine. But in the source IP address, maybe if this user will use the IP address of this computer, now what will happen? So in this case, all these machines, all these computers who are receiving the ping request, they will send a reply back to this computer, you see, to this machine. These all will send a ping reply message to all these machines. In this way, so sorry, so this one. So in this way, actually this user, so let's say this user has made busy all the computers where, so let me, so, so this user actually has somehow attacked this computer by utilizing other computer. So this is also uh, a denial of service attack and uh, it can use uh, so if the distributed nodes are used then this will be distributed denial of service but specifically this kind of attacks let me clear this kind of attack is known as smurf attack which also uses the ip spoofing as a trick as a method to to attack some victim in this kind of uh, scenario so ip spoofing attack where instead of using the genuine IP addresses, the hackers or the bad guys can use the IP address of some other machine or other computer on the network. So I hope this, uh, with these two examples, this is this point is uh, clear. And thank you very much for your time. I hope to see you in some other video on security.